welcome back everybody to part 6 of the Vampire Walkthrough. So we are coming from where we left off. Actually, before I go, we got a new weapon from one of those two dudes that we got ambushed by. With the infinitely spawning underlings. Let's have a look. Offhand. Okay, used bludgeon. Hmm. Wait. Used truncheon. So it's got higher stun. But it takes more stamina. Hmm. Should we? Why not? Actually, we can also upgrade this. Um. 20 stun. 15 stun. But the stamina stays the same. But this one can only reach level 2 as well. This one can go much higher. So obviously we've got to upgrade this one rather than wasting resources. Okay. Hey, that looks good. Why not? Ah, oh, crap. This would have increased stun. I made the wrong choice, I think. Oh, well. Okay, so we can get multiple anyway. Okay, we need more lead sticks, lads. More lead sticks. That's what we need. Okay. And then let's see. What's better? So this one's got high damage. Attack speed is low as all hell, though. Like... We're, what's just better? Huh. Okay, so this actually has stun options as well. Okay, so we actually have to use this one after all then. Okay. Um, sure, why not? Okay, for now, we'll go with damage dealt because we also have the other weapon for the stun. Okay. Let's have a look. What... Let's change our weapons. Main hand to common trudgeon. And off hand to common truncheon. That, that sounds good to me, lads. That sounds good. So now, let's go and talk to Edgar Swansea about Razvan Vasil's blood. It's a shame the restocking of medicinal ingredients and stuff takes a while. We definitely got to be making sure that we're getting everything there is to take. <laughs> is there anything in his room we can steal? Yes? No? Please? Okay. I don't think... Okay, there is actually. It's a note. Warning letter. Okay. 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 If you guys want to read it, just read it now or pause the video where you need to. Okay, so this is basically nothing important. Oh, okay. It's a hint, lads. It's a hint. Very nice. Yo, look at how many illnesses there, in, there are in this area. I'm definitely going to have to go around and provide some medicine. Let's talk to Dr. Swansea. Evening, Edgar. Could I get your professional opinion? Please speak. But I have something important to tell you. Oh, okay. This strain of flu, it's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? Okay. I've just looked at the blood of one of our recently deceased. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? Um, sure, yes. I guess. Okay. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation, once docile people become violent. You mean like rabies? Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? By the stove, that would be smashing. There's a lot we're not seeing here. But it is spreading, and quickly. If we don't act, the whole city could be lost. That would not be but good, Jonathan, lads. Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could... Isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. 
Um. But the yeah. risk of infection using vampire blood could compound the situation. I know, but your blood now carries remarkable regenerative properties. With our minds and your blood, there's nothing we couldn't cure. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. Okay, no, damn. No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said, I needed to talk to you. Oh, what's this about then? I have some rather bad news. That is bad news indeed. Yes. I'm afraid it's your sister. My oh? sister. What's going on? She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. Oh, okay. I see. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Please accept my condolences. Well, damn, bro. I guess we're going to be going to attend the funeral. But we also need to, um... One second. Yeah, let's have a look. We need to secure a lot of people. He has fatigue. She has fatigue. He has fatigue. He has a headache. We don't actually have the cure for that yet, I don't think. Yo, there's a lot of people with fatigue. Let's go about curing people. So I think we've got like four or so of these fatigue medicines, like just in reserve. So he's one of the boys. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Soldier, do you need assistance? Not really. I think you caught something in this bloody hospital. I swear I'm dead. Yet smiling inside, Dr. Reed. It's good to know, mate. As long as you remain here, I will make sure you don't have to worry about your health. Don't think you can do much about it. Damage is done. Oof. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Okay. Damn. Okay, so he's not one of the dudes we need to give the medicine to. Oh, hello. Who are you then, love? Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. She's not very discreet about it, is she, lads? Do you Let's do a medical checkup first. I have no need for your medicine, Dr. Reed. Blood is the only drug I need. Oh, okay. And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Oh, she's morbid as all hell. Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. Then get a blood transfusion, mate. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard syndrome, Miss Howcroft? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying. That they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Okay. Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. Okay, yep, she's definitely delusional. I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I right, Miss Howcroft? It's only a cover to hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. Oh, okay. Who are these enemies you mentioned? Can you describe them? I cannot say for sure. But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. I, I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. Oh. The staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me. For I am a vampire. I see. Don't worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. Oh, okay. Am I not? Okay. Ooh, a new investigation. That sounds fun. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? 
proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? Well, now old she is then. Cool stuff, lads. Cool I'll stuff. Leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. That was interesting. So we've met someone who actually believes they're a vampire. Okay. Let's steal all the uh, medical ingredients and whatnot. And I also need to find a couple of doctors and patients as well. Let's have a look. What other people do we need to give it to? What's this? Oswald Thatcher. Oh, hey, it's another inv investigation. Okay. Actually, let's do this one first. Cool stuff, lads. Cool stuff. Okay, let's have a look. Um, there's this guy, Clay Cox. He's a bit of a dick. We've already di we've already done her. We still need to give it to Rakesh Jadana. Sorry, I, I have a stutter. Gwyneth Branagan. Oswald Thatcher. Well, he has a headache, so we can't help him. Okay, so... We need to find her and her in... I think they're on this side of the room. Well, or the hospital, rather, I mean. Yes, here we go. Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? I'm not here for him, actually, Do so... you require medical attention as well, Mrs. Goswick? Do you know you're the only one who's asked me this? No. I don't feel well, actually. Okay, here you go. Despite what you think about this place, I can tell you with absolute certainty, taking this will help you recover. Well, at least your reputation seems well-deserved. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for this hospital. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. So we're, we're the dude who gives out um, medicine for free. Wait, how many more dudes do I need to give... Um... Okay, so these two dudes are the only people I've actually talked to yet. Oh no, there's this guy as well. Don't know who that is. Shall we talk to this dude and have a little gander? Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I believe we're going to be colleagues. Reed? Yes, I've been informed about your arrival. I'm Waverly Aykroyd. Welcome aboard, I suppose. Does my arrival inconvenience you in some way, Dr. Aykroyd? Let us just say that I don't particularly share Dr. Swans's enthusiasm for hiring you. What we need here are reliable professionals, not overrated dabblers. Oh, savage, bro, savage. If you have a problem with me, Dr. Aykroyd, please feel free to tell me. Dr. Swansea has imposed your presence on this hospital without asking anyone's advice. The benefit of his position. But I don't agree with it. I know we've never met before, but I believe this hospital could use all the help it can get. You will agree with that, I'm sure. Oh, but I have heard about you, Dr. Reed. Of course you can't say the same about me, since I have not wasted my time courting the press. Oh, damn, man. Um, yeah, let's there go There is no one. need for such animosity between us. Don't you think the epidemic is already enough to deal with? That is one point we could agree on. And that is precisely why I want to be sure that you will be of help to this hospital instead of a burden. Oh, okay. Since your tenure in this hospital is longer than mine, perhaps you can tell me more about this place. Let's just say I'm tired of the carelessness around me. I have always respected the skills of Dr. Swansea, but over time his enthusiasm has become displaced. Carelessness? Exactly what are you talking about? We're here to save lives. The people who trust us are not volunteering for experimentation. They're here to be healed. I don't intend to run any radical experiments, Doctor. Even if I, as any good practitioner should, express an interest in pushing the boundaries of medical research. Modern medical methods were created through audacity and ego. But there are rules in our line of work, and they're here to protect our patients. So he's like one of the cool doctors then. Fair enough. So he dispro disproves modern medicine. Okay, he's got fatigue. Let's cure his big ass. Do you need my assistance? Don't be ridiculous. I'm capable of dealing with this myself. I've just not taken the time to do so. Here you go, mate. Then you are lucky that I have taken the time to do so. Consider it a gesture of solidarity between professionals. I wish this hospital could have received as much attention from you, Dr. Reed. We do not see you in surgery very often. Oh, oh he's, he's caught us there, lads. Oh, I don't know what you've heard about me, 
but I have already proved my value as a practitioner. I don't question your skills, Dr. Reed, but your motive. Is it money, fame, or are you truly dedicated? And what exactly is that supposed to mean? I served in the war just like you. But unlike you, I did not use the wounded to play the modern sorcerer. Be careful what you insinuate, Dr. Aykroyd. I only want you to admit you used those men to improve your theories. Huh. This is ridiculous. My blood transfusion technique saved many lives, and you know it. You see? That is exactly what I hate about people like you. You avoid this kind of accusation instead of facing reality. What a bit of a dick! It seems you have bad memories of your military service. I refuse to see this industrial slaughter as scientific progress. War only reveals the worst in men. We can at least agree on something, Dr. Ackroyd. Okay. Okay, that's him done then. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Alrighty, alrighty. You always and then there's this guy as well to talk to. Good evening, sir. I don't know if a third opinion is needed. Your colleagues are already arguing about my condition. I see. Would you mind telling me more about your situation? I'm Harvey Fiddick. All I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. Oh. Is there so... anything else that's bothering you? Can I help in any way? Really? Why has no one else asked me that since I got here? I thought I was in a hospital. Oh, hey. Unfortunately, yes, bro. you are not the only person who needs help. And complaining about it won't do you any good. Well, perhaps you're right, Dr. Reed. I'm sure if me missus was still alive, she wouldn't be happy with me going on like this. Cool. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. One second. Let's have a look. How many fatigue medicines do we have left? Uh, uh, none. Okay, let's go brew up some more, actually, because I'm pretty sure it's like still three or four people that we need to give the fatigue medicine to. So I need to find out who's spying on Thelma. Right, let's go back upstairs and make some more fatigue medicines. Hopefully I have the required stuff for it. I need to find myself a few rats as well so I can num num them. Yes, we do. Sweet. Actually, five will do for now. Five will do. Right. What's this then? Dr. Tippett, Dr. Strickland, and Dr. Ackroyd. Yo, so they all share one off office, and then we get one to ourselves. <laughs> no wonder the guy's a bit sore towards us. I never thought I would have to attend my murdered sister's funeral. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives? Of course I am. Do you need any medical help, Milton? I'm afraid I do. Like everyone in this hospital. It's a sad state of affairs when even the hospital workers are worried about disease. Here you go, bud. Our job brings us into contact with all kinds of infections, Milton. There's no shame in being ill while you're in a hospital. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. I get the feeling you don't fall sick often. Well, thanks, anyway. You're welcome. Goodbye, people. Milton. All right. We need to... Is this the... Yes, I think this is the lady we need to talk to to give her Good some evening, fatigue medicine friend. to. Good evening, Doctor. Do you require medical assistance, nurse? I will be fine. As soon as I can get some sleep. Here you go. Nurse, you won't be able to help people if you're sick. Take this. And do try to get some rest. I'll try, Dr. Reed. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I'll th okay. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Cool stuff, lads. Cool stuff. Okay. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Get, go away, Goodbye, go away. Shoo, 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 shoo. This is what I wanted. Is there any stuff we can take? This box, maybe? Yes. Good stuff, lads. Good stuff. And now let's go find Mr. Cox. And they will do the wrong target quest. Coxy Cox, come out, come out, wherever you are. 
Oh, there's nothing there. Okay. Hey, I think that's him over there. <laughs> hey, Doc. You're lucky to be alive, Mr. Cox. I hope you're starting to take better care of yourself. This place is full of sickness and decay. How could I get better in such a dump? Oof. Consider yourself lucky that I'm treating all of my patients equally. Indeed, man. Don't push your luck. Don't play the innocent with me. I'm sure you have good reasons to act this way. And also weaknesses that can be exploited. <laughs> what do I leave you for now, Mr. Cox? Oh, hey, I didn't need me. Okay. Um, and then I think there's also the other guy who has this guy who has a headache. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look. Have I healed everyone? No, 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 no. I still need to get Dr. Chidana. I don't think I have the treatment for headache yet. Let me have a look quickly. One second. Yeah, no, I ain't got one for headache. Alright, let's go around the back and find Dr. Chidana. And then we'll do the, um, find out who's spying on Thelma mission. Yeah, we definitely need to find some more, uh, rats though. Recover our blood. Thelma Hello, Harcroft Chidana. said she was being watched by vampire hunters. Where are they hiding? I should invent. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. Do you mine. need medical attention? Well, the proximity of the dead is not the most healthy company. Even if the quiet can be appreciated. Here you go, bud. Don't take too many risks with your health, Mr. Chidana. None of us are immune to this disease. And that is a good thing. Death and disease is a constant reminder of our mortality. But you have my thanks, Dr. Reed. Cool. Goodbye, Mr. Chidana. All right, that should be making this district a lot better. All right, let's have a look. Um, uh, oh, there's new dialogue for Dr. Swansea. All right, let's have a look. What's this mission then? Oh, hey. Did I just see something in there? I guess not. Hmm. We had a big circle saying we need to find something in this area. Oh, hey, an open door. That's always inviting, lads. Okay. Lead plate. We need that for upgrading our weapons. Ooh, hello. Plenty of stuff for me. Oh, ahoy, ahoy. Oh, crap, I ain't got enough blood to use it. Oi. Bruh. We can now knock him out with one hit. Okay. Breath. That's even better. Yo, breath. These weapon upgrades have been so OP. Unless these guys are just, like, significantly weak. Okay. Three days ago, one of our new recruits heard a rumor about the presence of a female vampire hiding in the Pembroke Hospital. All we have is a first name, Thelma. Your mission is to discreetly go there and observe any suspicious activity concerning said leech. Then report directly back to us and we'll decide what action should be taken. Cool stuff. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. Okay. So we need to find the local command post of the Guard of Prewen. Yo, that's pretty far away. Let's just get down there ASAP. Alright, I think that's all the stuff that we can steal from this area. Yo, that was an easy fight though. I don't know if it was because I've upgraded weapons or changed them. Or simply because those guys were like lower level. It always feels good to get the ingredients. Hey, let's search through the rubbish bins. Yes, mate. We make medicine for people from stuff we find in bins. That's kind of funny. Okay, he's gone. Let's... Oh, hello. Yo, this is definitely helping a lot. Oh. 
boy. Oh, ouchie ouch. So this weapon definitely hits a lot slower, but at the same time is doing a lot more damage. Yep, searching through trash cans. Very good. Very good. Yo, where's that g other guy who I killed? Uh, where is he? Oh, hey, money. Let's take five shillings. Oh, okay. So I guess I've already looted him up. Okay, okay. Yes, man. That's what I was looking for. All right, let's just find the command post. Oh, hey, there's more of them. Who would have seen that coming then? Whoops. Yo, this guy's high level. Look, he's level 17 while I'm level 11. Good stuff, lads. Good stuff. Alright, anything else for us to pick up around there? No. Alright, let's just go in this conveniently open door and have a look. Large box of pills. I'm pretty sure we can sell that. Oh, shotgun shells. And bullets. So, medicinal ingredients isn't the only thing we can find. Well, and obviously there's also, like, the um, parts for weapons. But you can also find just random stuff that you sell to traders. Good stuff, lads. Good stuff. All right, let's have a look. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so apparently she acts like a mental patient. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright, so if you guys were to read that, just, I don't know. Yeah, just, just pause the video where you needed to. A used pre-wen steak, is that even superior? Ooh, hello. Hello, big boy. Hmm. Okay. Bruh. Yo, this pr used pre wen state takes a lot of stamina. Far more than I think it should. Hmm. Ooh, hello. Alright, if you guys want to read that, just pause where you need to. Okay, so now we need to go back to Thelma Howcroft and tell her about the spies. Oakley dokley. And then we also need to go here for Mary's funeral. Good stuff, lads. Yeah, from what I can see, though, like, sucking the blood of citizens is definitely a very, very large part of getting XP. Maybe I, should, I shouldn't have chosen the option where you're supposed to suck the blood of citizens to progress. I wonder if I get a bunch of XP for doing um, like the local investigations and stuff. Maybe that's how I'm going to be able to get my XP. There she is. Hello, Thelma. Good evening, Miss Howcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Then, um, you know, just like... I have made inquiries about the men who were tracking you, Miss Howcroft. I did not expect a mortal to have this sort of courage. Speak. 
Doctor, why are they hunting me down? It was a misunderstanding. These hunters were in fact looking for a very different creature. But they mistakenly put their sights on you. I knew it. I have become undone. Those hunters have discovered me. But they don't know what I'm capable of. If you'll accept some advice from a petty mortal, I think you should assume a low profile and just quietly disappear into the shadows. You are right. And you have served me well, mortal. Take this as a reward for your time. Oh, hey, what am I getting? Perhaps I will allow you to drink deep of my blood. One day. Thank you. I'll keep that proposition in mind. Hmm. Tell me, Thelma. What do you really know about vampires? I saw one and he saw me. I watched him hunt and kill. I saw his terrible wounds heal as his victim died. And then I knew I was saved. You mean you actually saw a vampire? Ooh, Here another in him. London. Yes. And it has been the answer to my pain. I must drink and kill to regenerate my decaying body. I am a vampire too. Okay. You have no idea what problems your claim could cause if heard by the wrong people, Miss Howcroft. You must stop this nonsense now. Why fear the truth? Strange things live in the dark, Dr. Reed. Strange and ancient beings that were here before this island even had a name. Huh, okay. Good for you. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. I have wasted too much energy. Didn't give me much XP, that's unfortunate. Alright, shall we do the other investigation around here first? F track. Yes, here we go. Okay, let's see. What am I meant to do? Um, okay. Find out the cause of death. Alright. The only reason I'm choosing to do this mission rather than go to do the main mission is because we're already 30 minutes in. So I just want to finish this one very fast. Oh, I was hoping I could open that. I guess not less. Hmm. One second, where is it? Ah, balls, okay. Yes, correct way. And this, lads, is why I love having a map. Map is good. Map is friend. Was that me? Did I just break that chest or something? Sorry, the bench, rather, not a chest. Okay, how am I getting inside? So I assume they want me to get inside the morgue. Wait, one second, let me have a look. Um, maybe I have to go down here? Because I remember this is the morgue, I think. Hmm. The old morgue. Let's take everything there is to be taken. Oh, hello, bud. You kind of look like you got mugged off, mate. Okay, nothing interesting in here for me. Let's just check upstairs very quickly. Like I know the mission objective is downstairs, but I want to get everything there is to collect and kill every um, enemy there is to kill. Oops. Whoops. Woo! Okay, good stuff. Oops. No, 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 no. Bad boy. Bad. Bad. Bad boy. Whee! Good 
Good stuff, lads. Good stuff. Woo! Oh, hello. Yeah, because because we're because we're, we're making the option to like not kill any citizens. I need all the XP I can get. Okay, let's go back. Oh, hello. There's another floor. Oh, hello. I wasn't expecting that one. Not gonna lie. Woo! Ah, oh, come on. Bro. Man, that must have been one hell of an advanced um, scout because he could even use um, shadow movement and stuff. This is why I hate stamina games. Ugh. Stamina games are just disgusting. fast they can attack. It's like it's like our enemies just don't suffer from stamina. Whew. These weapons are definitely stronger than my old ones though. I am going to have to admit that one. Oh hello, there's another one. Freaking hell. Why is there so many scowls in here? Like, how is it that whoever has to put them in there just doesn't get killed by all the scowls? Wow, bruh! What? Bam, no. That is just no mate. Breath. They attack too fast. Whew. At least my stamina lasted the entire time that what that time. Hello, bud. Okay. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? Maybe, maybe. Who knows, who knows? Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. Oh, that's unfortunate. The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. Oh. A puncture over the left lung, possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Okay. Signs of internal bleeding. So, Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. Oh, damn, bro. All righty. All righty, lads. Hey, nah. Uh, yeah, let's fight them, actually. 
XP is XP. Oh, I hate that weird move where, the, where it's just unblockable. You can only dodge it. Like, not even your own attacks can interrupt it for whatever reason. Let's have a look. What can we make? Yeah, let's make anemia. Yeah, I wouldn't have had enough of this anyway. Hey, bronchi bronchitis. I right, would have had enough for pneumonia, but I'm pretty sure someone actually needs um, bronchitis. Uh, who is you? No, he's got a headache. And then there was someone in a different um, area that had bronchitis, I guess. All right, let's just go back. Yeah, just look at how the way he sw it sways while he runs. Oh, hello. I managed to miss that one. Hmm. Now let's go back and interrogate the two doctors, shall we? Well, one doctor and one nurse. Ooh. I just love it when I find stuff for me to take. Oh, so I've just got to find them in the area, I suppose. Okay. Hello, Brannigan. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Tell me what Dr. Tippett's did. I know his mistake caused a patient's death. If I had not covered up his error, Dr. Tippett's would have been fired from this hospital. I could not let that happen. You can't allow your emotions to dictate. Oh, oh, that's a lot of XP, fam. Take your conduct concerning patients, Nurse Brannock. Look around you, Dr. Reed. Do you really think we can afford to lose a brilliant practitioner like Dr. Tippett's in our situation? Hmm. I can't say I approve of what you did. But as a field surgeon, I know that some situations require you to bend the rules. I'm not proud of what I've done, but to contain the epidemic must be our priority, so we can't afford to lose Dr. Tibbets. Fair enough, mate. Fair enough. Okay. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Okay, let's talk to Tibbets. I wonder if that was a man that just passed us. Now, where did he go? Perhaps I should have considered the offer from that Cadogan fellow. Patients are not fools. They know we are. Where did he go? Hmm. Don't know where he went. Ugh. Is this you? Are you Tippets? I'm quite busy right now. No, Dr. no, Reed. he's not Tippets. My bad. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. The right to disapprove of our methods, and you will kindly apologize when you're feeling better. Who's this guy then? Oh. I don't think he's Doctor. Hey, is this Doctor Tippets? No, that's. A I'm quite a bit. I apologise, lads. I have um. I guess I'm impatient. Now, Tippets, where, pray tell, are you? Where'd you disappear off to, little mucker? Okay, so that's Cox, not the guy I need. Hey, there he is. I guess he just hid somehow. Perhaps I should. Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before. 
at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett's, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now. Eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. Fair enough. You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think about preserving your strength. No. We must keep on healing all those poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. Once more, unto the breach. Okay. Nurse Brannigan is worried about you, Doctor. Huh. She should not have told you that. I will have a word with her. You don't have to blame her for her honesty. I'm not that kind of man, my dear Jonathan. Actually, Nurse Brannigan's opinion is the only one I may listen to. Fair enough. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, speak freely. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. Probably. It's more than enough. In any case, the personnel of a hospital are much more important to me than the building. Don't be misled by appearances, Dr. Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. Oof. Okay. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? Some are really good, and others are not so good. But during this troubled period, there is no time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. Fair enough. Tell me more about cherished people, then. Nurse Brannigan is a pearl. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse I've ever worked with. A clever and cheerful woman. You really seem to admire her skills. I'll go even further. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. Yeah, man. Any opinion about the management? I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve. But I must admit, he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah, yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't get me wrong. Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. Oh, okay. Kokoran, I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. That's the blunt truth. Mm. What was the nature of the mistake? It was a twofold error. My diagnosis was wrong, and the administered dosage was too strong. Oof. Who was this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks. Maybe a fisherman. I had no time to talk with him. No one claimed a body. Oh, okay. Why not stop practicing? Are you mad? I killed that man, I admit it, and it won't happen again. I have saved so many lives since then. Yeah, fair enough. That's what matters, mate. I will cover for you, Dr. Tibbets, by keeping what happened to Mr. Connor to myself. I... I don't know what to say, actually. I can't exactly force you to become my accomplice. You didn't force me. This is my decision to make. I believe you're still of use to the hospital, considering the situation. Then I can make you this promise. As soon as the epidemic is eradicated, I will resign. Fair enough, man. Big Boy here has some... Oh, hello. What will you do after your resignation? Do you have a plan? I always fancied visiting Cyprus. Such a beautiful island. I could buy a house there, by the sea. Read poetry and wait for death. Hmm. Wow. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Actually, give me a second. Let me have a look. Um, is Dr. Tippett okay? Yes, he is. Completely healthy. Well, good for him. Okay, so that's still not giving much XP. But, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be ending this one here. I'm just going to be going upstairs to rest and we'll evolve quickly before we go on to the, um, the cemetery to watch the sisters... Uh, funeral. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, let's have a look. Shall we increase blood capacity? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all we've got XP for anyway, so why not? And let's have a look at our hard work of healing all the citizens of the Pembroke Hospital. Oh, Dank went from stable up to healthy. Good stuff. Okay. Yeah, boy. Oh, hey, I completely forgot about her. Okay. Hey, healthy is good, though. Healthy is good. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be ending this one here. If you guys would like to see more, you know what to do. Just give a like and subscribe. And please help support the channel by telling your friends, family, and fellow gamers about as well. So I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace!